in the faces of parents, students, and teachers. Anxiety as they wait for answers. Bravery as officers move on in here ready to protect. And relief as one by one parents are reunited with their children. What we do not see in these images is the heartache a family now suffers for their troubled 15-year-old son. Police say that the mom and dad were actually very critical in stopping the armed teenager. New special, Andrew Adams, live with the story now through the eyes of those who witnessed it all. Andrew? Mike, the students in the science class say the mom grabbed the shotgun from her son and then the dad tackled him. But it wasn't just the parents that helped save the day in this very scary situation. Emergency lights, men with big guns, and children hey, we're just going on the sidewalk and on the sidewalk being led away. 911, what's the address of the emergency? Um, it's Wheel Park Junior High, 955 East 1800 South. Nobody expected this. Um, he has a gun. He has a gun. At their school. This kid um, just came in with a shotgun. He looked angry. I heard the shot go off and I looked up. There's a big hole in the ceiling. We all thought it was just a warning shot, like right before I'm going to kill you all, right? Eliza so Murphy. Kind of it was terrifying. Told her dad a classmate intervened. Kid, like, you don't want to do this, and like, don't do this. I believe those seconds played a big role in the outcome today. Because it bought time. Time for the parents who were at the school looking for their son to be able to get into that room and actually apprehend their son and remove the weapons. Investigators say the teen came to school with a fully loaded shotgun and handgun. He also had two boxes of ammo brought from home. They were engaged enough in this young man's life that when they saw him doing things differently in the morning, it raised eyebrows. Police are now thanking the parents for acting on a hunch. I was expecting much worse than what happened today. Murphy. And we were hidden and didn't know we what to expect. I was shaken up and horrified, but I felt totally safe. After the shooter was After gone. the shooter was gone. <laughs> she's grateful she's safe at home to reflect on the madness. I don't know why he would go in that class, but he did. <laughs> Well, police say they're not sure if the teen had any specific targets here, and they're not elaborating on why he may have acted this way. He's behind bars in juvenile detention, facing several weapons violations. Police say they also expect more charges to be added to the tally in the coming days. Back to you. Yeah, sigh of relief tonight. All right, Andrew Adams live for us tonight. Andrew, thank you. Dave?